Who am I speaking with? Hi, I'm Gabe Klein, and I'm the commissioner for the City of Chicago Department of Transportation. Excellent. And you guys just did a contest um, very similar to what San Francisco did, where I'm from, where you opened a bunch of data, you had a bunch of app developers create apps, and explain to me what the contest was and what came as a result of it. Sure. Well, I came from Washington, D.C., and we had something there called Apps for Democracy that uh, Vivek Kundra did before he left for the White House. And um, it just seems so smart to open as much data as you can. This data belongs to the public anyway. So open all the data and let the really smart people out there, you know, from 8 to 80, uh, work on applications over that data. It worked out wonderfully in DC. And so when John Tolva wanted to do it here, our new chief technology officer in Chicago, and said, hey, I really want to do transportation first. Are you up for that? I was like, absolutely. So um, we jumped right in. We released, uh, I think, about 200 data sets. And uh, around July 14th, uh, this competition started. And it's been very, very uh, successful. And I think the results today with the 12 finalists and winners uh, just shows how creative a lot of these young folks are. So let's talk about the criteria, what you were looking for, why you know, some people were winners uh, while others weren't. I mean, what, what did it take to be the top, one of the top three winners? Well, I'm going to be straight with you. I wasn't a judge, but I will tell you that I think, you know, number one, it had to be creative. It had to be interactive where it was doing more than just one thing often. You know, it had to have some other element. Like, I think if you look at the, the uh, top five, there's either an e-commerce um, possibility, there's a way of creating an actual business, or there's a, a way to interact with everything around you, with the physical uh, space around you. Um, in fact, one even uh, automatically calculates where you're going and then sends information into us to uh, redesign where bike paths should go. And that's the, the, the type of creativity that, to be honest, we in the government, uh, as creative as we might think we are, aren't going to come up with. In30 is a web app um, that helps people find uh, neighborhoods in Chicago that they would be interested in based on their connectedness to um, things like city points of interest like parks, um, libraries, and we're adding more in the future like restaurants and bars, that kind of thing. And you can also put in uh, exact addresses, so maybe you're looking on Craigslist, you have a place in mind. You can take a, uh, put in the address, it'll tell you how many acres of parks you can get to, um, how many libraries you can get to. It's actually my first web app, so I'm uh, really stoked that it did this well in the competition. Fast Park, I thought was really cool, that was number two, and Fast Park helps people in real time find open parking spaces. This will help find uh, pay parking, free parking, permit parking, all different types of parking, no matter what you're looking for. So what's unique about your program that makes it so darn cool? Well, you know, it's a way for you to just put in your address when you're coming home from a long day at work and you don't feel like spending 45 minutes for street uh, parking, and it gives you the best probabilities uh, in terms of being able to find parking. And then it uses GPS and those probabilities to come up with a good path for driving for you to find a spot. Number one is really brilliant because it has the potential to be a real business. And that's Spot Hero, which, it, which is actually efficiently connecting people's parking spots when they're available with people that need them. Spot Hero. Spot Hero. What is Spot Hero and why is it a big deal? Explain. So Spot Hero is an online website that allows anybody who's not using their parking spot to rent it out, rent it out online for extra cash. How would you get involved in the project and what's your past history of web development? Okay, cool. So this is the first web development experience uh, that I have. Um, this idea kind of came about because of personal parking ticket problems and also in uh, Wrigleyville, people are always selling parking on game days. So kind of figured that this was the perfect opportunity for you know us to avoid our own parking ticket issues and then also help other people sell their spots and so this was all really selfish the whole thing uh, I mean everything we do is completely selfish there's you know no, nothing we care about more than ourselves no it's not true we know that parking sucks and it's painful and Mark and I are good friends and we want to just make the experience better so we want to help everybody else out so this was your first app ever seriously yeah this is the first time that we've uh, attempted something like this in the mobile or you know in in the web space and uh, we both have business backgrounds and but we all have parking problems in our backgrounds and we wanted to not just save ourselves from the parking problems but we wanted to help others 